Synchronicity is an ever-present reality for those who have the eyes to see it. Carl Jung, welcome to Ignite Your Intuition. I want to pause and thank our host, Leslie and Kimberly, for conspiring to craft this wonderful event where we of the tinfoil hat community could meet. And of course, you, the audience, for being here today to lift the frequency as you heal one earthling at a time. <sighs> Can I tell you about why I am so passionate about this? Thank you. Not just because I'm a rebel and I love to flip the script, but I love to teach people and awaken that magic energy within that sleeping giant. I'm going to give you everything I can right now. But don't worry, for those of you who want more of my magical essence, I'll let you know how we can connect psychically through telepathy at a later time. Psychic abilities are neither separate or secular. They're just natural human abilities. Russell Targ. Russell Targ is an American physicist, parapsychologist, known for his work on remote viewing. Char Targ joined Stanford Research Institute in 1972, where remote viewing is said to have begun. Known to the in crowd, as Stargate. 50 years, that's five zero years of research on third eye spies. Remote viewing, a CIA release, Dr. Jacques Vallée, scientist, was a science research at the DARPA funded Augmentation Research Center at SRI. He led and coordinated the remote viewing protocol. Anyone up for a road trip to Devil's Tower? Lunch is mashed potatoes, little Richard Dreyfus. Anybody know Close Encounters of the Third Kind? Well, you should watch it. Jacques Vallée was the scientist that they utilized as the character in that movie. If anyone says there's no science research to prove psychic abilities are reality, now you can say, yes, there is. And then say, shut up, sit down, while well, I educate you. You can quote me, get the name spelled correctly. It's N-I-C-O-L-E. Are you talking to me? What's all that noise about? All of a sudden you hear it, voices, and they're talking to you. No, you're not crazy. I thought I was crazy too. It's just that little voice in your head, your intuition. You know, your intuition utilizes subtle, simple forms of communication. Wherever I would, I would hear people talking to me loud and clear, but they weren't moving their lips. It was like this bizarre, weird dream that I was having, like a daydream or a day mirror. Truth and reality was, it was telecommunications. Their souls were screaming to be heard. Truth and reality, they needed a confessional, but instead they kept it hidden deep down in the shadow truth. Do you recognize when your intuition speaks? How does it communicate with you? Many people see a visual message. Sometimes it's synchronistic numbers like eight or eight. You know, uh, like when you're in deep thought and all of a sudden these numbers come up somewhere. 
like when I was at a crosswalk in Las Vegas, I know it's crazy, so much traffic. Who really walks across the street in Vegas? But I was walking across the street, and usually we get 60 seconds to run across the street and dodge all the cars, all the drunk drivers, the people's on their phone. But before I crossed the street, I had asked for a sign, a powerful visual sign that I was on the correct journey. And that sign came up on the crosswalk. It was in numbers eight and eight. Very powerful. They mean self-power and success. So I knew I was on the correct path. I even get these intense visuals like a video playing in my mind's eye, intense flashes, pictures out of nowhere. Like I could get a box of popcorn, real butter, of course, <laughs> and a soda, lots of ice, and sit on the couch and watch Netflix and chill. I could Monday morning armchair quarterback the movies in my mind. These are the visuals I get, like smell-o-vision, sense, smell, feelings. Ooh, just gives me the chills. Thinking about it, ooh, have you ever got it? A hunch? Hmm. You know, and I think, well, perhaps, just maybe if I try this, a compulsion or desire to do something, like call your friend Mary, and all of a sudden the phone rings, and who is on the other end of the line? It's Mary. Answer that. You have an inner knowing. The answer or a solution to the problem, you know what that answer is. Trust this thought, it's the true answer to your problem. Your intuition might conjure up a sudden thought you have, an inner feeling you have to do something right now immediately. Implement this right now. Or maybe you utter the perfect words or phrase that isn't quite your normal answer, but nonetheless, you articulated it perfectly. You spoke the exact words the other person needed to hear. Like, you know, Monday morning, you've got your coffee, your donut, extra sprinkles, lots of frosting, you're taking a sip. And why do we have Mondays anyway? Oh yeah, that's to get over the binge drinking weekend or the parties that we have. You gotta have Monday to recoup and recover so you can get through the rest of the week and get back to your weekend. But you're in the office, it's Monday morning, you're taking a little sip of your coffee. Mm. And you're a little bit foggy, but all of a sudden your boss says something. You perk up and you address your boss and you speak the eloquent words articulating your boss needed to hear, it's almost like the whole room stood up and clapped because you had the answer. You listened to your spirit guides and you spoke the answer. Maybe you'll get a raise. But even better, it's allowing yourself to manifest these true words because you sat up and listened. Now people take notice. Now they'll remember you. Listen to these signs. You can do it again. I know you can. You might even get some physical goosebumps, you know, or a gut feeling inside or ringing in your ears, a bitter taste uh, in your mouth. Perhaps a feeling deep within your heart, an inner knowing. Like maybe your child's in trouble and you get a call from the nurse. Little Bobby has a tummy ache and he wants to go home. So pay attention to your phone. If you know something's wrong in your gut, take action and prepare. Have you ever felt that uncomfortable, uneasy, I'm a little bit confused moment? This happens when you're going in the wrong direction from what your intuition has mapped out. Your intuition is like an inner GPS. You know the magnet that's embedded in the birds when they fly south for the winter? How the heck do they know to do that every year? But they listen to their guidance. Your intuition is inner dialogue. 
As you listen to the inner voice in your head, you'll receive the answers you need. Not your subconscious. Give it a lollipop and tell it to sit in a corner. You don't want to listen to that chatter. You want to listen to the abundance and allow your intuition to develop. And as you implement and you listen to what your intuition tells you, sudden feelings of personal joy and peace will overwhelm you. Consistently learning to implement the guidance your intuition provides, you will reap the rewards of massive abundance. Here's your sign. So listen to your angelic guides and you'll receive instant psychic gratification. True story. <laughs> you know, Marcel Vogel was a scientist, a researcher from IBM in the San Jose facility for 27 years. He received 100 100 patents for his inventions during this time. Among them was the magnetic coating for the 24 inch hard disk drive system still in use in your computers today. Marcel is why we have crystals in our computers, these wonderful, energetic, good vibrators. He did research on the energy that crystals emit, discovering that the basic quartz crystals, just like this, a quartz crystal, is a conductor, it's a repeater, an antennae. The crystal oscillator, as stated from apogeeweb.net, is an electromechanical device made of quartz crystal, just this baby, with low electrical loss. That means it contains its energy consistently. This crystal has a very important characteristic. If it's energized, it will produce mechanical oscillation. On the contrary, if it is given mechanical force, it will generate electricity, so a little force from a machine. Hence the birth of the Vogel cut healing crystal. My mother mentored uh, with scientist Marcel Vogel. He taught her about crystal energies. And so my mother and I, this mother-daughter team, cleared haunted houses from paranormal activity. Ghostbusters, who are you gonna call? <laughs> this was the beginning of my journey to healing and becoming a crystal Reiki master. To be able to biohack the energetic fields of someone, to heal on demand, becoming a psychic surgeon and continuing to hone my gift as a psychic medium, coming to 50 years, five zero, folks, I've been doing this all my life. Today, Marcel Vogel's videos can be seen on YouTube. Thank you, all-knowing Webernet Oracle, Marcel shares the simplicity of crystalline energy. He uses this healing modality along with his third eye his psychic intuition to pinpoint disease. If you take the crystal and put it on your third eye and rotate it just right, you'll be able to pinpoint where that disease is. So today, folks, I want to share three tips and tricks to improve your psychic powers. No longer will your third eye be blind. So here are these three uh, exercises. The first one is mindset mastery. And it's with Zener cards. If you haven't seen these, there's shapes, waves, you know, crosses, a circle, you get it, another wave, or is it a star? Utilizing these uh, cards, this modality, you'll help develop your intuition. If you think back to Ghostbusters at the beginning, and he's helping this girl share how to develop her psychic uh, connection. What you do is, you know, shuffle these cards. And this you could do at home, you could do with friends. Part of it's a game. And when you share it and look at it as a game, you are increasing your energy, you're increasing your vibration with the others in the room. 
right? Have fun. No, I still to this day have a little bit of a problem sometimes getting the cards right, but it helps me really get in focus and have fun with those frequencies, just like the shapes behind me. So I'm going to take these cards. I'm going to mix them. And I want you to drop in the chat what you think it is. So I'm going to take this card and I'm going to put it up here. Mm. What is the shape you see? Is it a square? Is it a box? Is it a triangle? Is it a pyramid? What comes up? Let's just think, you know, allow your mind to think and feel and say, trust yourself that you can say what first comes up. Is it green? Is it red? Is it yellow? What is the answer? So just take a breath. And relate to the card. Trust. Ta, here's the big reveal. <laughs> it is a circle. So if you saw globe, circle, uh, world, right? If you saw maybe world, you know, world, um, planet, uh, if you said circle, it, I see behind me for some reason, I keep looking at the frequencies or circles behind you. You got it, right? If you said yellow, yellow was great, or there is a color yellow that you resonate with, uh, maybe something like sand or sun, right? And so these are are words and vibrations of connection. And so trust what you see, right? And that's how you do it. Let's do it one more time. So drop it in the chat. I do see some replies that are correct. Yes, a yellow circle. I do see the correct replies. I also want to try this again one more time. What's the shape? What do you feel? Is it a circle? Is it a square? Is it a world? Is it uh, the stars above? Is it the sky? Hmm, hmm, what do I see? Oh, is it purple? Is it green? Is it blue? If you said, drop it in the chat, let's see what you got. If you said green star, perfect. If you said the stars in the sky, the universe, you're getting close, you're getting warmer. Um, you know, learn to connect. But that sabotage or that left brain, the critical thinking brain aside and trying so hard desperately, you, when you allow and you separate from everyday life and from the critical thinking mind, and you come and you have fun and creativity, increases your vibes and you're starting to connect to your intuition. The second, what I want to do is how to become a human pendulum. So we are all used to these pendulums, right? Maybe left and right for no, back and forth. Uh, for yes. So just for the purpose of this right now, because we only have a few minutes and you can work with me later, is to get into the motion, start to move, start to vibrate, right? And so let's go forward for yes, back for no, forward for yes, back for no. And so as a human pendulum, you're going to ask this energy and this life force connection, do I want to go to Chuck's party? And all of a sudden, you start to pull back. Well, you know, I kind of like Chuck. He's a friend from work. But you know what? I don't really like Chuck's friends, and I don't feel comfortable at the party. That's a no. It's an ooey. It's a sticky. Don't go. Adversely, if you go forward, hey, do I want to meet Mary for coffee? She's really great, and I met her in the group. You start going forward as you're speaking. You feel the essence of Mary and the fun and the charisma and the good connection. So trust that you can be the human pendulum, yes or no. Simple as that when you're in the store. Do you go, Divine Diva, to the red pumps? Yeah, they're awesome. They'll look great on your first date. Or do you go back to the boots and say, no, they're too chunky, not great for the outfit? Just use it in fun, use it in jest, you can use it in life. If it's great in the office space because you don't have time to get all your crystals and your pendulum and all your devices out and say, does this feel good? You can't always use it in public. So let's use something that, that we can have fun with. You can share and show your friends too. The third, the third uh, tip and trick that I have for you today is for you to biohack at a cellular level when you do daily rituals, because when you biohack at a deep level, every day you're changing your life, you're changing at a cellular makeup, right? And so each time your cell 
you program something new and I teach this in my class program something new into that cell that cell separates right and becomes two higher frequency cells so if you go to the gym in the morning and you start running you're going to develop new cells and those cells will separate and want to run more and feel the energy of running maybe that running makes you lose weight maybe it makes you feel good Maybe there's a hot guy on the treadmill next to you whatever excites you it'll help increase your vibes plus you'll look good right and so when you do these daily rituals you can meditate like a guru remotely spy on your neighbor like 007 and summon ancient wisdom like the oracle neo in the matrix use the force loop if you've got questions right now i know that you need those answers uh, so they might not get answered today but let's go ahead and just imagine right now that you have been living psychic for a year and you've ignited your intuition where would you be <laughs> i know right now where i'd be right i manifested this course, this class, this summit, right? And that this is where I'm at. I am trusting my intuition. So if you want my secrets to increase your psychic abilities, you're gonna go to the link that they provided in the chat. You're gonna hook up with me and you're going to schedule one to three sessions, right? With me on psychic development. And we see if we can connect, you'll get all the answers if i don't have know them we'll connect to your spirit guides and we're going to align i'm nicole borgie